I'm Kat Bell and today I will be painting on a couple of canvases. I have had this idea for a while now and I have used the technique for a different character but I decided since it's Valentine's Day I would go with more of a pair of paintings and so I have Jesse and James from Pokemon and the technique basically works backwards where the background is going to be the last thing I paint and to do this technique I will be cutting out different pieces from this paper and then adding it to the painting as the layers dry and then build up from there. So I'm going to start off with the hair, then the body, then the R, and then the background. And first of all, I'm going to cut out all the pieces separately. And so here are the cutout pieces. So we have the body, the hair, and the R all separated out. So the next step is to do a quick sketch on the canvas just to make sure that we're coloring in the right spaces because like there's no point using a bunch of extra paint that you're just going to cover up with the next layer. But you want to have enough coverage so that you're not leaving gaps. Like I said, this is just a quick sketch to make sure that both pieces are roughly center in the canvas and also that the R's are roughly in the same place for both Jesse and James. And I am tracing out each separate piece, so the R, the hair, and then the body, just to make sure that when I do start the painting, I am coloring in the correct areas so that I waste minimal paint, but still get proper coverage, like I said. And I've mixed some paint. And so the light source is coming this way, so this part, it gets the highlight. As for the color, I went with as close a match as I could get to the character's color. Jesse's was a little harder since it's kind of this bright fuchsia, but I mixed red, pink, and purple to get this color. And then I added a bit of black to each to get the more shadowy bits, and I just filled in the rest of the hair, leaving just a sliver of bright color at the edge for the light source. We can just place these now that this is dry. And I'm just using some double sided tape. Okay, so now I can start working on the body. And basically, it's going to be more black on this side, whitish on this side. And of course, since this is just a silhouette, I could have just gone with straight colors. So I could have just done the hair with their iconic colors and just done the bodies white or black and used a different color background. But I just decided to be a little extra with this one and kind of emulate the backlit look because I just thought that was really cool looking. and. I wanted to try that. Also, I really like using gradients. I also did that for the other character I did, and that was Sailor Venus. And for that one, the hair was yellow, and then the body was an orange to yellow gradient, with yellow more at the core and then orange on the edges, so that her hair would stand out from the body. And. I did test a couple times putting the paper over it just to see like where it needs more color and also especially for Jessie has one arm in front of her a little bit more and so that would be getting less direct light so having that a little bit darker than the rest just to give more dimension and more a sense of kind of action. This took quite a few layers to build up the color that I wanted and like I said I was trying to go for just a really dark 
gray so that it would still pop on the black background that it will eventually have. And also just to make sure that the whole canvas area was covered. So the canvas does soak up a bit of the paint and I wanted to make sure that there's no like holes in the paint and where you, where you can't see through the, straight to the canvas. Okay, and once again with some double-sided tape, stick this on. For the R um, in particular, I decided to do a layer of white so that I could get a bit of a better coverage with the paint. Um, I had realized when I was doing the body that, like I said, it was soaking up a lot of the paint. And unfortunately, I'm running low on red. Like, I should have checked that before starting this project that I knew was going to use a lot of red. But unfortunately, I totally blanked on that. And so I decided to go with a layer of white first so that the red would just sit on top of that layer of paint and it wouldn't need as many coats. Additionally, I do have a bit of red metallic paint that I decided to go ahead and put over the R as well just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. And once again I'm just sticking on the R with some double-sided tape and since it was a bigger area it did use quite a bit of tape. So this project basically just used up the last of my double-sided. <laughs> And finally, I'm just painting in the background, and so I decided to go just pure black. Originally, I had thought of doing a light source kind of spotlight looking thing, but I feel like it's kind of out of my comfort zone of painting skills, so I decided just a pure black background would basically be good enough. Additionally, I do like to paint the sides of my canvases most of the time just because it gives it a cleaner edge. So the back might be a little bit messy, but that's the part that's going to be towards the wall. So you shouldn't see that anyway. Finally, the reveal. I did have some trouble taking off the paper and that can sometimes happen, especially with the background part since it tends to be a little bit more wet the paint and sometimes will kind of slightly bleed under but that's nothing a couple touch-ups can fix and at this point you have a very clear silhouette so it's actually not that difficult to do some touch-ups especially if you just went with the plain color for me, it was a little bit more difficult to do touch up since I did have this gradient, so I had to mix the proper colors to kind of get into those areas. So here they are after touch ups. And the final step for this project is I'm just going to add more highlights. So on the side where I expected the light source um, to be, I put a line of white to give it a better, a better silhouette basically. So here they are all finished and I've dedicated this one to my sister and this one to myself. And I really like how they came out. They need a little bit more touch-ups than um, I did the last time I tried this technique. But it was a really good 
kind of way to get the silhouette I wanted without having to be able to draw these characters myself. And overall, I'm super happy with them, and I love how they, they came out. And uh, happy Valentine's Day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!